Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views. Today is Monday, October 29th, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures higher by 27 and a half points. Right now, they're trading at 26.96 and three quarters per contract. So all in all, we'll see how this plays out. But you can see really right around five o'clock in the morning, the futures started to take off to the upside. And that really has been the case uh, so we'll see how it plays out today. We've seen a lot of volatility last week, lots of volatility over the last several weeks, and we'll see what today gives us. Now, we have lots of stocks in the news, and we're going to start off with the big one today. It's going to be Red Hat. Red Hat is being bought out by IBM. It looks like uh, right now the stock is trading at around $174. I believe they're picking up Red Hat for $190 a share, but this still has to get uh, regulatory approval. But nonetheless, Red Hat um, being bought by IBM for $190 a share. That is giving the tech sector a pretty big bounce today. When you look at this market right now, you could take a look at some other uh, big stocks. SPLK, Splunk on the move. You could look at um, several others. But we have lots of good action out here with this uh, buyout. Let's take a look at IBM this morning. IBM's been a bit beaten down. Stock closed at 124.79, now trading at 119.17 on the back of the news. But with a stock like a uh, company like IBM, I think they had them do something here. So again, not a bad uh, pickup. We'll see how it helps their cloud business, and we'll see how it plays out. All right, let's take a look at some other things out here. We have HSBC with earnings. So HSBC in play. Stock is trading at $90 and, uh, excuse me, $40.91. Closed at $38.66. So nice little move there for HSBC. That could help some of the bank stocks, especially abroad. We'll see how that plays out. Let's take a look at Bloomin' Brands, B-L-M-N. Uh, right now, this is trading at 1905. This is the parent of Outback Steakhouse. And again, this is uh, catching a little bit of a bid after earnings as well. Let's take a look at Yandex. Uh, YNDX is the ticker symbol here. Stock is catching a little bit of an uptick. Closed at 27 and a quarter. Now trading at 28.95. This is on the back of earnings as well. So we got some earnings out here and we'll see how this all plays out. We have a nice pop today in Ford Motor. It looks like Ford trading at $9.35. That's a nice little move. Also a nice move in General Motors. General Motors trading at $34.19, closed at $32.65. It looks like China has announced plans to lower the auto tax by 50%. So we're starting to see some progress in some trade wars and trade talks. We'll see how this all plays out going forward, but that is a good pop in Ford and GM. Full disclosure, I do own call options in General Motors. All right, let's switch uh, gears here a little bit. Let's just talk about where we have uh, the gold market today. You do have the GLD trading at around 116.43. U.S. dollar index is trading higher by about 20 cents, and we also have the USO, which is good oil ETF trading at around 1425. So there you have it. That's pretty much everything that we're seeing here this morning. Very, very good pop for the overall market and we'll see where we go. But nonetheless, uh, this is going to be one of those days where uh, people are saying, hey, is this market going to stabilize or are we going to get more volatility throughout the session? So we'll wait and see. We'll see how it plays out and we'll take it slow and steady. I'm going to leave it here today, short and sweet. It is a Monday. We don't have huge earnings, but we do have a lot of earnings tomorrow and the rest of the week. So get ready. Brace yourselves. We'll see how it plays out. And if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a great 2018. It's really been a blockbuster in the chat room this year. Come on over. Trade right alongside of us. You can join us. And we will see you all on the charts.